It was a really windy day. We spotted a little baby magpie that had been blown out of her nest. So we thought if we left her there, she'd die. So we brought her home and so began Penguin's story. She had a lot of uh, quirky characteristics. Ollie, our youngest, used to always play catch to her, count to three and then she'd catch it. It was like she was a little puppy. She'd always roll on her back. And she loved being cuddled as well. I mean, not many wild birds love being cuddled, but she would lie in bed while the boys were reading. She would come and jump up into bed. I think she liked the company as much as we did. When we found Penguin, I realised that I actually could look after something and I wasn't as useless as I thought I was. Well, I think Penguin actually gave me back my confidence. I'd been home from hospital for about three months and I wasn't in a very good headspace. I found it really hard when I came home because I guess it rubbed in everything that I can't do now. I thought oh, I was the worst mum, the worst friend, the worst wife, everything. Because everyone was so sad at that time when Sam came home from hospital. Penguin was a, a massive change. So she made us all happy. She was funny. She made everyone laugh and she was so adorable. She was like an angel that had come. She spent lots of time outside and then she'd just fly in. Oh, Penguin. It was really lovely because she was like this wild bird that came and went as she chose. Oh yeah, we loved it. We loved it when she came home. It was almost like she'd been out at school all day and then like she comes home for dinner. When Sam was selected on the Australian team for kayaking, Penguin flew away. I always say she came at the perfect time, left at the perfect time. So many people have had horrific accidents and, and not all of them find a penguin. <laughs> For us, it was like a little angel kind of fell out of the sky. Nature really helps heal all of us. Our book was published in 2016. Naomi Watts and a couple of other Australian producers have been writing the script and then filmed it in our house. It follows our story the way we wanted it to be told and they've done a really wonderful job.